Mrs. Bezadon and I first met at the end of our matric year, we were both far cooler and more intelligent than we would ever be, as most teenagers think. My tuxedo jacket, which I wore without a shirt beneath it, and that's another part of the evening, uh, really caught an eye from across the bar at Boston's, as Lance alluded to. Little did she know, she'd already caught mine. So I waited for my chance to strike, and as she made her way to the dance floor, I did. I drew her near, I whispered in her ear, if we start this fire, we'll burn this world. We started the fire, but we decided to spare the world. You're welcome. I've never witnessed a couple so ideally suited to one another. When Matt walks into the room, you smile brighter, a little bit bigger, and you simply glow. I've had the pleasure of spending time with you separately and together, and let me just say that together you are truly an unstoppable force. Seven years later, on the 18th day of the 8th month, 2018, we are both now husband and wife. And if what they say about the number 8 representing infinity is true, we are truly set. May your marriage be filled with laughter, love and dancing, just like the first night Matt first laid eyes on you, where he couldn't contain himself and launch himself off our local balcony at Boston's, managing to break his ankle yet persevered and danced a night away with you, earning his first relationship nickname Bunny, referring to his one leg hopping tendencies. From then to now, look how far you've come. Cheers to the next chapter of your life together. I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you and I'm privileged to have you as my wife. I love you.